So, I'm talking about spear grinding cups today, and uh, basically what I wanted to talk through, because people have questions about this, about how the grits and the diamond cups are set up, because it's a little bit different than using silicon carbide. When you use diamond, if you have a 800 grit cut cup, it cuts at 800 grit. It won't cut at a finer grit than that. Like silicon carbide, if you use silicon carbide to grind, the silicon carbide grinds down and breaks down. So if you're using 800 grit, you may end up with uh, a 2000 grit kind of finish with the grit breaking down. So when you're using diamond, the advantage is it's much faster. You don't have the dirt. You don't have the potential for the contamination. But you have you have to have a lot of steps to get through all the polish. You know all the steps of polish to support the polish. So right here, uh, this is our basically our board where we keep all our cups, starting from the smallest down to our six-inch cup. And the color coding is gold, blue, green. Uh, yellow, orange, pink, and then uh, a teal blue and, uh, and uh, a bright pink. Now it's a little bit different than some of the ones we've done in the States, but it's basically all the same grits. This is a coarse grit, like a 60, 80, this is 220, this is 400. Now these are metal bond cups. It means the segment is made out of centered metal. Then at 400 we go to a poly bond. Now, because a poly bond doesn't have metal in it, it cuts. It cuts much, much differently than a 400 metal. So we go from a 400 metal to a 400 poly. Now, what you'll see is this is one of the longest steps in the grinding process because you're cleaning up all the metal scratches. And when you come off a 400 poly, you have a really nice finish. From there, we go to 800, 1200, and depending on the material, we may go to 4,000 and 8,000. A lot of the, ja the hard jaspers and agates, you can come off at 1,200 and they look almost polished. Uh, but if you're doing jade or a softer material, then we're definitely working to, to do the higher, the higher grits. Okay, so I'm going to talk a little bit about polishing cups for spare machines. Lots of different ways to do it, so there's not like one way that you have to do it to be successful. So a lot of people have come up with different stuff that they like. Um, our two primary methods are leather and canvas. Now when we're running canvas, we're almost exclusively running diamond. Now every now and then somebody will grab it and run a little mix, which we can do. Best on canvas. Now on the on the leather, we're running cerium oxide. 